told myself I wouldn't do an Emmett Smith tonight. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank the FDU Hall of Fame Committee, the FDU Athletic Department and the University. I want to thank Coach Sprague for the kind words and for presenting me tonight. As Coach mentioned, I first met him on the football field while at Kearney High School prior to him getting the FDU job. The fact that he knew me might explain the recruiting visit that he made to my house. He spent the entire time talking to my mom. I could have went out for pizza, come back, and nobody would have ever known I was gone. By the end of that conversation, there was no doubt that I was going to come to FDU. One of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. Joking aside, Coach Sprague made this program, in my experience playing for FDU, a family affair. That is the biggest thing that I take away. It's a friendship that I will cherish for the rest of my life. I also want to thank Coach Sasso, who came aboard my senior year. He maintained a sense of family and brought his own coaching style and winning tradition. As part of that family, I also want to thank coaches such as Ron Van Saters and Tony Mealy. Tony was the grandfather of the team. When I arrived, Coach Van informed me as a freshman they didn't care if I hit my weight. Maybe a little bit harder to do now. But they was going to teach me how to catch. That came as a bit of a surprise given the fact that I was recruited as a second baseman and a pitcher. Clearly, I made the best decision. Some of my greatest memories of winning two conference titles while here, memories of the players that helped achieve those goals, as well as the friendships that still endure, teammates and friends, like Joe Huffman, by the way, broke my single season hitting record in our senior year on his final at bat winning a championship. Greg Dorr, Joe Colavita, Mike Ritchie, and Steve Stewart, to name more than a few. Having an opportunity to compete and play right away helped my growth as a player that I firmly believe is what gave me the opportunity to be drafted and play in the Rangers organization. I want to thank my family, my entire family, for their support. My mom and dad for getting to all the practices and games. My sisters for putting up with shortened vacations because I had to come back and play during the summer. My grandfather, who never missed a game or a practice through high school after he retired. I'm also very fortunate and blessed that while playing, I met my bride, Stephanie. I want to thank her for all of her support. We met toward the end of my career and I'm not sure that she knew just how much baseball was a part of my life. She does now, for sure. Thank you, honey. I love you. Thank you for our children, Jake, 16, McKenna, 11, and Ross, 8, who all play the game. Even our daughter, who refuses to play softball. I'm working on that. She still wants to play. Coaching our children is a great joy. Teaching the game to them and their teammates. I am where I am today because of FDU and baseball, what it taught and prepared me about life. What I have always believed in and what I try to teach my children and the other players that I coach. This is a great honor, one that I am very appreciative of. But it is truly I that should thank the university for pro providing me with a great education and solid foundation for life the opportunity to play the game that I love. I am truly honored and humbled to be part of this university and its Hall of Fame. Thank you.